this there's a there's a there's a change in your message. Yes. More like it's more it's more intentional, more focused, and more purposeful. And I love that word you used. That we have to focus on what is more important. That is building ourselves to really uh, become the light that people will see the kind of life we're living. Or like, please show us this. So most of the times, it's better to show people the result of what we're doing than to keep uh, just preaching and proselyting. You know, so I was really blessed by that. And uh, I, I, I even wanted you to to talk more and go more deeper into the eye, the eye, the meditation, the, the meditation of the eye, the eye concept as the Christ within. Just the, the way you do it, you said it the first time we met, and probably go more deep into your eye meditation. You know, eh? one thing which many, many people do not know, eh? number one, like we always say, eh? that when, whenever we bring this eye, eh? many people have branded it as sometimes as, as it is ego or this or that. One thing we have to know that no one person has got two eyes. No one person has got two eyes. It is only I. Wherever you bring the eye you have brought the presence of the eye within to whatever you want to attach to that. Immediately you say I before any other words. You have called it forth to be the beneficiary of what you want to proclaim. That is number one. That's why the Bible says, Thou shalt not use the name of thy God in vain. And whosoever does that, he shall be held guiltless. And this is what it means. Using the name of the Lord God in vain is putting every negative aspect after the I. And God will, the Lord God will hold you guiltless. This is how he's going to hold you guiltless. He is going to bring you that negativity you have put after the I so that you experience it. To the fullness. Guiltless. You have used his name in vain. He has given you that. You experience that. The eye is within you. Is the Christ. It is the breath. It is the breath. The eye is the breath. Don't even try, like, you know, when people are told to connect with the eye within, they will be like visioning, going deep within to the heart. It's no more that. I'm telling you, this is what I always say. Eh? If, today I can't, I, if today I tell you, I give you a description of God. If tomorrow I change it, just take it. I'm telling you, God is ever knowing. Every moment he is new. In its grandeur. So this is what I'm saying. Don't even envision about your heart and everything. Close your eyes and be present with the breath only. With the breath. And this is the secret. You do not, you are not the one doing the breathing. What does the breathing is the spirit within when it says I'm vacating, let me tell you, you are not breathing anymore. You are a carcass. But because you are human and you like calling, giving yourself beautiful names, you will say you are a corpse. But in really says you are a carcass. You and a dead cow, there's no difference. So, the spirit within is the one that does the breathing. 
This is what happens. When you take over the breathing and control it, like for with time, you can increase time from three seconds in three seconds. When you take that and take over the breath, this is what the spirit does. It leaves the task to you. But, and yet again, eh, it gives the task to you to do that, to be as perfect as God is. It's giving you the power, the magnificence, benevolence to do the breathing. When you breathe consciously, controlling it at some time, when you are stuck to your breath, it disconnects you with all reality outside if you are connected to your breath. The reason is because the spirit leaves this job to you and yet again, it does not disconnect to that task because immediately it disconnects to that, you are dead. Therefore, it leaves it to you, but still, it is there. But still, it is there supporting the activity that you are doing. Therefore, when it is supporting and you are doing it, you are two different entities there now doing the breathing. It has given you, this is what the breath is, this is what spirit is, this is what God is. And you are doing that, okay, it, give, it leaves it to you, but it is there present connected to that activity. Therefore, you are not experiencing the breath. You'll be experiencing spirit. Because that breath you are doing, eh, it has to pass through spirit. You get to experience that. You have to know that this breath is connecting you to everything. Let me tell you, it's connected to the whole universe. We are calling it air. It's connected to the whole universe, cosmos and everything. Bishop, you are in Nigeria and I am in, 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 in Kenya. But this is what is happening. When we say, I am one with you, we are connected. Forget, just leave the spiritual physics aside. About energies and this and that. Let me tell you, we are connected like all humans. There is one thing which connects all humans. It is the breath. This air you are breathing in, it is connected. There's nowhere it is disconnected to anyone who is in the U.S., who is where, or who is where. It is connected. This air is one. Unless you lock it in a container, then you bring a sense of separation, but it is connected. We are connected through spirit, through breath. When you want to experience the eye, When you want to experience the I, which is the Christ within you, first of all, you have to have the knowing that everything else first in your reality. You know, you have to keep your house in order. You cannot connect with spirit within when you are in disagreement with your physical reality. Truth be told. Because this is the secret of the spirit. In the beginning, the word was with God, and the word was God, and the word manifested into flesh and dwelt among us. In the beginning, the Christ was with God, and was God, and manifested, and he manifested into material form. 
and matter uh, form he manifested into form and matter everything of the reality is the is the manifestation and the expression manifestation and expression of Christ that is number 1 therefore the spirit within you the eye within you number 1 it sees everything in the physical reality everything and everyone it sees as itself manifestation of itself it sees everything as god the god within you sees everything as god first of all if you are in and this is what the this is what it means by when when it is said that when two come together in agreement when they shall tell this mountain move i shall move is there has to be an agreement between the Christ's mind and the physical mind. The Christ's mind sees everything as God outside of yourself. Because nothing exists outside of God. Everything is within God. And if God is divine, nothing is not. Not a thing is not divine. That is the mind of Christ. But the physical mind, that tree of knowledge of good and evil, that which you are told, if you shall eat of this tree, not even eating, not even partaking, if you touch this tree of knowing of good and evil, you shall surely die. The physical mind is the tree of knowledge of good and evil. The physical mind is that one which judges this is of God, this is ungodly. This is evil, this is good. The higher mind sees everything as itself. It sees everything as its manifestation. I create darkness and I create the light. I create, I bring the good and I bring, I bring the evil. I, the Lord God, does it them all. So it sees everything as manifestation of itself, as itself, as God, as divine. But the tree of knowledge, it brings separation, that this is ungodly. And I don't know where people got this word, ungodly, it came because of the physical mind, because there is nothing in this universe, there is nothing existing in the universe which is ungodly. For something to be ungodly, it has to be outside of God, not of God. And the grander truth is that God knows of nothing existing outside of himself, which is apart from himself. The physical mind is the one which brought this. This is ungodly, that is ungodly. So, we have to attune or train our physical mind to come to an agreement that, hey, no matter how crazy this thing is, is of God. Behind this darkness, there is light, the love. Behind this, there is love. Behind this, there is love. This too is of God. I claim the divine in this. So that you become into... When you come into the agreement with the outward, knowing that this I claim the God in this. There is something for me in this. And I'm thankful to God. And this is what God says in the Bible. Come to me with thanksgiving. No bullshit. Don't come to me with dramas. Come to me with thanksgiving. Period. Because everything works out for the highest good for those who are in God. And the reason why everything works out for the highest good is because everything is God. Everything is divine. Everything is of God. Everything is godly. Then when you are in agreement with that and you have the firm knowing that that I am part of everything. It, everything is a reflection of what I, I am. 
when you see a situation outside you know this is me it's not the problem is not them the problem is me that's why they are reacting to me it's all about working upon yourself just being in awareness wherever you triggered what emotions come when you get angry even if it is for one for it's above 15 seconds you cannot control it go back within not it down i have anger this energy too heavy for you you still harboring that when you have the knowing that you have no separation with everything everything happening outward of you is but you are the conception of who you are and you breathe and be present and breathe to everything knowing that everything is in consciousness and breathing knowing that even that breath which you are breathing is consciousness because that breath is god itself and the spirit was go of god was hovering all over and the spirit of god was hovering all over is still hovering up to now up to this moment it is hovering nowhere it was written that after hovering it left is still hovering be still know that the breath immediately you breathe in know that you are breathing in life you are breathing in god breathing in consciousness be in that breath bishop connecting to the eye within you know you just have to know that you are Don't figure out you want to get this one clearly bishop I'm giving you the very easiest thing You want to experience the eye within even today in the evening after your job you have taken a shower and you've gone to your seat you have seated you want to experience the eye This is the shortest cut to experience the eye within you Sit there and just be don't figure out anything do not try to figure out anything just breathe and be with yourself don't figure out even what you expect to any sensations when they come leave them be don't figure out just be that is the state of god be god does not god is not figuring out everything everything is in a state of perfection perfect you don't figure out anything just be with your breath bishop be with your breath and see what happens don't important thing do not try to figure out anything procedure or what even that counting of breath don't count just be present with the breath figure figuring out nothing expecting nothing be there with yourself be there bishop do this for 7 days bishop do this for 7 days then come back to me set time from today even one hour do that today 7 days then come back to me after 7 days <laughs> oh, you don't have to figure out anything about god you don't have to know nothing Sunny. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It was like okay. It's just sit down. No intention. No expectation. No hope. Nothing. Just with your eyes closed. Nothing. You just have to be there with yourself. It takes only you to be with yourself. It takes only you to be with yourself. It does not take any prophets. It does not take any religions. It does not take nothing and even messiahs. It does not take anything. Even Jesus does not want you to know that he existed. He just wants you to be like the little ones. The little ones, bishop. 
be with yourself. It only takes that to experience God. It does not take any fasting, any overnight prayers, anything. It takes you to just be. No expectations, no hopes, no nothing, just be, no wordless. What do you need? You lack nothing. When you lack nothing, you have nothing to talk about. The reason why people are busy talking is because they lack everything. You lack nothing and there's nothing you are not. You have to know this. You lack nothing and there's nothing you are not. And be Bishop, you lack nothing. You lack nothing. And there is nothing you are not. And just be. You lack nothing. And there is nothing you are not. And just be. Bishop. It doesn't take any drama. It doesn't. Our years have been wasted. If we were taught this when we we were in grade one in school, this world will be we will all have turned into angels of light. But we are taught in one way in every that. In one way or another, you have, there is something outside of you you have to depend on. There is nothing. There is nothing. Everything outside of you is dependent on you. You are not depending, nothing to depend on outside. It is dependent on you. The higher beings, the physical higher beings, Fourth density, fifth going up. The physical ones who can appear here in their shape shifting uh, or lights, orbs of everything. The physical which can appear here. They are dependent on you. Now th- everything you see outside of you is happening within you. Humanity, this is what humanity is. We are the beginning. We are the source. We are the beginning. We are the source of densities and dimensions. Outward of us, the aliens, beings from other planets, galaxies and this and that, going up, their physical densities. Then when we go within spiritual realms, dimensional, we go in dimensional. Outside is physical, outside is physical densities, fourth density, fifth density, but within is spiritual Spiritual dimensions. Humanity, this planet, if you don't know, let me tell you for free. This planet, no matter how someone denies it, this one has not been told. And it is going to be denied by many people, but this is the center of the universe, period. It is the center of the universe where all the physical densities expand outward. And it is the center of the universe where the spiritual higher realms of dimensions go within this planet. Everything outside of us is dependent on us. When higher beings come to us and gives us good teachings, channels and this, it's because 
of the balance they are bringing in the universe so that there is balance darkness is put is put is not eliminated but is put under control it can be controlled and they are depending on us here that's why there are those who are have their hidden agendas and there are those who are having good intentions on us because our existence our balance of polarity in this planet is what is holding the other higher die densities in physical and it is what is connecting the physical this is the place where the physical is connecting to the spiritual realms it starts here we are the source we are the source higher beings could be coming here giving you words is because we can't say it is an agenda and i don't think it is agenda this is life is because if they there is more positive polarity there is more light in the physical realm in the higher realms even the sixth the seventh going up there is light it depends on here there is more light and those who are darkness in darkness they want to bring the darkness because they want that so this is the source where they get it i create the the darkness i create the light i create i bring the good and i bring the evil i the lord god does them all this is the source we are much grander than we have been taught higher dimensional beings what you call as angels what you call as demons they cannot come into physical realms they can only come through to the physical realms through us through us so demons we allow them to come in stop blaming them this place the truth of this place the grander truth of who we are has never been told you can only find it within yourself and when you come to the grander truth when you awaken to the grander truth of who you are bishop that moment you will come to the grander truth of who you are seek this answer within you when you come to the grand truth <laughs> you will this life you will just go to another angle and start looking at life from another angle because half of the truth i'm telling you no matter how many magnificent beings have been here how many messiahs and prophets have been here the grand truth of what this place is has never been told seek it within you seek it within you and when you know the truth bishop not not the full truth even the picture of the truth when you know you come to the knowing of the picture of the truth of what this place is of who you are bishop it shall set you free trust me it shall set you free free indeed very free bishop <laughs> it will set you very free you are not what you have been told what you have been told Just I told you just be like a little one it doesn't need any dramas because everything will just get you outside of yourself no i have to i you you 
this uh, this spiritual teacher says you have to sit this position this position immediately you can see it immediately you can define it it is a physicality anything which has an identity is something of physicality anything immediately it has been described by words is something of physicality anything that's why i'm telling you be with yourself just be with yourself without just be with yourself do not put don't bring anyone then nothing just be with yourself for if thoughts comes let them come let them go be with yourself don't um, Im immediately you know what eh? this is this is uh, what uh, ego is ego is a construct of words immediately there are words there is ego So no matter how holy, magnificent, a scroll, what it is of words, there is ego inside there. Someone wrote it, there is ego there. 